What's up? This is HD News here. So, I'm actually uh, surprised that I had a lot of views on that latest COPPA video I released thing a couple days ago. And, um, surprise, 24 views or more than that, 23, 22. That's quite a bit, and the channel is doing, I guess, okay. There's supposed to be some severe weather coming through here. The reason why I got the fan on, because you're hearing the fan, because, uh, trying to sleep and all that, and we do have a tornado based um, weather, just a chance, just isolated, hopefully not nothing too bad, so I went to my store, bought it one of those trains, I gotta look it up, how they put together apparently, because <laughs> I haven't done it for God knows how long for these uh, battery operated, just for the tree, you know, and um, $10.00. Batteries, probably about four bucks, not including the tax and all that they would charge because the state uh, charges a lot. And the city needs a lot, of, I guess, the high school um, coming a budget because they spent so much. And plus, I lost the 50 50 tickets my, my mom, my sister's class were doing. And I got texts, you know, they were doing like a, t a certain amount of. Um, money like you get half the money and the rest of it the other half is for the middle school for the eighth grade to do their dance and all at the, at the end of the year like i had back in the day and apparently it was worth fourteen thousand dollars they maxed out tickets i think you could buy probably three tickets for ten dollars and it just just goes to show that gambling does not pay and uh, i hate to say it but i got a text message from my mom said, sorry but if you didn't win, it's like, uh, I knew it, probably. You invested $25, and I lost, and I was in pain. I just put some pain medicine on my back because I've been having a sore back for the last two weeks, literally. Because of the muscle, I put some of that to biofreeze where it kind of cools down the muscle and the joints and arthritis. And um, it started bugging me again, and... I had some pain so bad in my back and my lower part midway that I could barely tie my boots at at the store for the weather that was coming, you know, the rain. Supposedly, supposedly coming. It just it wasn't really coming, but it, you know, it supposed to have been. But uh, yeah, I had pain that day. It was horrible, and it was like Saturday. It's like busy, busy, busy. And luckily, I'm up today, and I got clean this house and. I get everything ready because parents are coming in probably tomorrow and um, I get paid tomorrow and um, yeah and I try to save some money for whatever I need to deal with in the next two weeks so yeah now we're talking about those um, balloons up and on the weather channel of course I'm not sponsored by them but um, about having those balloons on out there on Thanksgiving day I remember when I was young, I I think it was one year, I think I was watching them, and I pulled a muscle in my back, and it literally took me, that literally took me about five days to get over, and that usually does when I do, I do have moments where I'll get some neck pain, but it's been better than it usually is, but it didn't ever bled or nothing, that's just sore, so I do have pain in the past, especially the left leg was bugging me bad. I thought I could just raise it up. No, it was completely aching. Best thing it would be is just get in a chair like I am and just sit correctly in the right position so it wouldn't hurt more. Part of all this why I'm having pain because I did have bleeds in the past and I worked a lot and I use more muscles right now than I was earlier. It's morning or night, it's getting busier. And uh, I'm doing a lot more by myself and uh, that's what you get, probably. Hopefully the medicine gets rid of it, and I'm back where I was. It's been a while without pain in the back, and I woke up, you know, ate some breakfast, you know. Uh, mentioned the store, you know, got that train thing, that Polar Express, whatever they call it. Can't beat the price, and there's only, only required two D batteries, just part of the thing up, and it's like, I didn't even need a tool just to get into it, so that's pretty good for the battery part. So, I mean, it's kind of cheap, but you think about it, um, 
I remember having more expensive drinks than that, and it's a good thing because I'm actually allergic to metal. I got an allergy to nickel, copper, everything else are for gold. I used to react to it severely with a rash, and I can eat with it and use soaps and knives and forks and spoons, metal, and not have re and not have trouble with it. It just wears on the skin over a while. It kind of gets that kind of, you know, rash. And then it gets to the skin where you see the the skin where it kind of comes off, gets red. And that's when it burns. And that's what I've been dealing with all my life. I found out I had that medical alert because I had a history. And every medical alert broke me out, quite literally. Except for gold. And that never breaks me out, luckily. So... Even uh, Roke Road does that to me. My, I, my hands do get itchy in the wrist area and they get irritated and I gotta take it off for a few days. Just the skin's not healthy, you know. There's nothing I can do about it. It's my mom, my dad's side of the family that has male allergies and sensitive skin. So, you know, like I can't put, really put anything on my face or anything like that because my skin's so sensitive. Even for Halloween with makeup, just in case, you know. Um, I'd be itchy too much. I was like, yeah. The skin's not good, basically. But it tans, not as good as it used to. But I was dark when I was young. I was pretty dark complected. All of the skin, so that, yes. Had that side of the family, and uh, my mom was only half a tie in. My dad was full Irish, so I don't technically have all the Italian blood. I just don't know what the other part of the time, the other part of my mom's love was, but, um, yeah, I used to be darker when I grew up. Until so, like, the last 20 years, I've been more, 14 years, technically, or more. It's been paler, so, whatever. So, if you need a channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like below. If you like this video more, that means YouTube will ask you to recommend it more, and that's what I need. Because I need this to go viral. Right, literally, because every time someone likes the video, the results get higher, and YouTube recommends it, and it spreads through the internet. And uh, I don't mind wherever you post it online. Just make sure you share this video, because yeah, all these are coming, and uh, yeah, That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.